you are watching a GMAT superior video. This video presents a simple plan on how to master GMAT math. So here's how. First thing, take a full GMAT test, preferably at the official website. Download the questions and take the test. This helps you to estimate what and how much to study. Okay, now you have taken the test. Now what? Note down the various concepts which are tested, what you need to develop. But remember, this is your first test. You may not get the entire range of questions which are tested on the GMAT. In all likelihood, you would have seen questions in numbers, algebra, geometry. You would have seen problems on percentages, probability, statistics, equations, inequalities, volume, coordinate geometry, etc. Remember, this exam doesn't test you on your math skills only. You need to have problem solving skills. So what are the problem solving skills? I have listed a few here. Your ability to analyze problems, simplify them, establish relationships, substitute values, form equations, test a hypothesis, work with the answer options, explore divergent solutions for this, a single problem, and your ability to make quick computations. You might have seen earlier GMAT superior videos on some of these skills. If you haven't, do check them out. It's on YouTube. So how do I start? Take out your school math textbooks, literally. Start brushing up the fundas and then graduate to some GMAT specific sources. Are you able to learn all the math concepts yourself? If you are disciplined, why not? Self-study might be an option for you if you have no time to go for a regular class or if you have a hold on math or if there is no live classroom coaching in your vicinity. Go ahead, opt for a self-study program. Okay, now what are the sources? I have listed the books, ebooks, websites and YouTube channels. Books I've classified into the concept books as well as the higher order math books. So choose your videos wisely. What else do you need? You need a scrapbook, pencils and a small notebook where you can jot down your formulae, theorem, tips, strategies. Make it a quick reference guide and regularly update it. How much time do you need for preparation? You require 40 to 60 hours. I split them into three stages. In the first stage, you got to understand the various concepts which are tested. Stage 2, apply these concepts into real GMAT sums. Stage 3, take 5 to 6 computer adaptive tests. In between these tests, take a paper based or a computer based math section test. Okay, now let's take each stage independently. In stage 1, you will have to understand the various math concepts which are tested. You could opt for math concept books or you could opt for GMAT study guides. Both of them will take you through the various concepts which are tested. Work on the practice examples. Take the end of chapter test. If there is an end of chapter test, repeat it until you get all the questions correct. If you are getting stuck in any particular question, ask your friends on how to solve the problem. Make notes as you go along. Jot down your formulae theorem in your formula book. I as a learner would develop sample notes like this. Like the number of factors for a square is always odd. HCF into LCM is A into B. The sum of the exterior angles of a triangle is 360 degrees. Standard deviation of a set of numbers is zero. Only when all the numbers are equal or when all the numbers are zero. The complete list is available to download at that link. Stage 2. Now that you have mastered your concepts, you will have to develop your problem solving skills. Apply those concepts into GMAT sums. You can take the official guide, work out the sums. I would recommend that you work 20 questions in 30 minutes because you know the GMAT is a time test. After working 20 questions, check the solutions, study the solutions very closely. Try to generalize approaches. Take a category of sums and see if all of them have the same approach. Some of the problem solving strategies I am showing you here. For example, strategy 6, write the inequalities, substitute the numbers from the number line, establishing the range from the answer options, eliminate the four wrong options and choose the correct one. These are some of the strategies. For developing strategies like this, you need to go through lots of problems. Okay, now we are on stage 3. In this stage, you will have to take tests. Uh, we recommend that you take around 5 to 6 uh, full computer adaptive tests. 
in the middle you take few section tests your aim is to build your time management skills your speed your accuracy and to get an overall test confidence you need to be mentally prepared to take the full exam that is integrated reasoning the essay the verbal and the math so you need to concentrate for more than three and a half hours for this exam the more tests you do the more confident you become and once you attain your target score in four five tests consistently then you are ready to take the exam so best of luck send your responses and feedback to the email id thank you